Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to some of you and peace out to the rest of you. This is Black Heart Sign of Black and again asking you to hit that share button even before you hit like or subscribe because the message is more important than the messenger. And I would like to point out something else too. Um, this one is a little bit different because it really was not appropriate for me to start off by saying salam alaikum because it means peace to you. And for the audience, I am greeting you in peace, and I really mean it. But to the ones I'm addressing, low cast and super slide, namely um, the matriarchy that supports them and other matriarchal mam dingoes, uh, I'm not sending this out as a peaceful message. It is a non-hateful message. I don't. Uh, I'm not asking God to curse you, nothing like that. But I'm not sending this out as some sort of peaceful message. You niggas are wrong. In the story. I can explain how you're wrong, but you niggas are wrong. And I'm really not recording this thinking that you're going to be convinced because the nigga that's the wrongest is the last one to ever be convinced by anything in the way of truth. We're all going to swear up and down to what we're speaking is truth. But the main thing is that I don't want your mistaken idea to spread, but I'm going to show you how it would, how other people can know that it's mistaken, really. Now, Lodecast, who I don't really know and about whom I don't know much, recorded something entitled My Thoughts on Passport Gate, in parentheses, warning extreme butthurt. So in a nutshell, what he's saying is, if I respond to him like I'm doing, then I must be butthurt. Well, in actuality, I got my passport so I could look for jobs. I found a job. I came here. I, was, uh, I did not expect to uh, find anybody, and I got married two times since then. And the only reason I'm not with my second ex-wife anymore is political and legal. It has nothing to do with anything she did wrong or that I did wrong. It's the way her country works. Their king is a little bitch bending over for the white man. That's what happened. It affected other marriages, not just ours. So anyway, now here I am, recently married for my third time. So far, things are fine, but it's early. We could go good or bad, I imagine that it's going to be, uh, imagine, I imagine it's going to be like most marriages were in the past, where you had ups and downs, good and bad, but the good outweighed the bad if you put the right thing. I imagine it's like that. I expect this in the future. But look, you know, we're all prepared nowadays. We tie the knot. We're all prepared for the worst. Much as we can be. But the point is, I found an excellent lady non ados still black but non ados without even looking for her leaving the country and she actually has an american passport she lived in a uh, part of a childhood in the u.s and became a naturalized u.s citizen but left why because of the fuckery because of the corruption that's why she took off others can find this as well it's possible. And you're sitting up here and you're saying that we're weak because we don't stay in the United States and deal with the Western dysfunctional bitch, white or black for that matter. Pretty much you're saying that. You're saying that because we get passports and some brothers will go elsewhere and they'll find women that what's going on is they're pedophiles. Now, hold up, hold up, hold up. Xenophilia, meaning the love of foreigners, is different from pedophilia. These are two different categories. You do have xenophilic black men, you, but now pedophilic black men are very rare for one thing. Now, this, is this an issue in the community? Yeah. I mean, Richard Pryor's bodyguard pretty much just said recently that Paul Mooney dug out Richard Pryor Jr. And Richard Pryor Jr., uh, he eventually came out as being on the other side of the fence. He's a booty bandit. He didn't know that his dad knew. And his, he didn't know that his dad at one point was planning to put a hit out on Paul Mooney because Paul Mooney dug him out. But now the damage is done. This happened when he was a young boy. Now that's some pedophilia. I'm looking at Paul Mooney differently now. I'm like, wait a minute, Paul. You married and you got your own kids and you, nigga. And you got all this talent too, nigga. But see, what I'm saying to you all is that pedophilic black men, rare as they are, and statistics prove this, whites lead by number 
because they have a bigger population and by proportion in pedophilia and child porn and possession of child porn and incest. Sexual crimes are still led by white Americans in number and in proportion. They still are. The black community still is outraged and sickened by sexual deviancy, even though it exists in the community. Brothers are not going abroad to chase behind some young tail, and I can tell you how you know that this is the case. Do I have the data that they're not doing it? It's hard to prove a negative, but low cast, super sly, and you other matriarchal mam dingoes, whether you meant to be or not, need to know this. When you are a normal black man, the same kind of black man who can travel, but who is dealing with mistreatment from the Western bitches in the Western countries, you know, when you come up as that kind of guy, you know that the one thing you don't need to travel for is an underage broad because underage women will pursue you in the West. They will pursue you simply because you're above the age of consent and they're not and they can put you in prison with their pussy and it's something to brag about. They like that. Some of them get off on that. Ma Punani put this nigga in prison. He gotta do time and register as a sex offender. Next, come on, hurry up before I reach the age of consent and I can't get you niggas in trouble no more. It's real like that. When you are a normal man, you are always e expected, not only offered, but expected to accept the worst deals when you are a normal man. Even on the upper end of normal, because you are not exceptional, you're not going to be pursued by women that are adults and responsible and logical and have stuff going for them and ain't bringing a bunch of other men's kids to the table. But you got resources. When you're one of those guys, they're going to come to you with no resources and other men's kids. And you're supposed to bring your resources and no kids. Because you are fully expected to raise other men's kids as though you are some kind of genetic inferior. And the other men are genetically superior. That's, how it's, that's, that's what goes through their minds. And they mean this. They're not playing. They're dead set serious about this. They don't come out and say, that's what I want you to do. But that's always what it leads to in the end. It always leads to you accept being treated inferiorly in exchange for some, and, and yes, in exchange for some paltry pussy, you have to raise this other guy's kids. And when I really want that itch scratch, I'm not coming to you. I'm going to go give it to him. But I'm going to give you, you know, little, little lazy side paltry pussy in exchange for you raising these other men's kids because I really don't want your genes in the next generation. That's real. I mean, that's really what you're being told and shown, even when the women won't come out and consciously say this. That's the Western woman. Well, what this means is that because an underage girl is a bad deal for you, and especially in a place like the West, they will come and pursue you. Now, you might be saying, yeah, but see, you go into places where it's legal to dig these women out. Actually, bro, when you go to these places, regardless of what the age of consent is, Every single black American man I know with a passport that goes to Brazil or the DR or Southeast Asia is going in order to deal with adult women. Even if he's in his 50s and she's in her 30s, they're going for adult women. That's real. They ain't out there with no, no little girls because it's sick. There's another reason I know that, that's, that this is what's going on, what I'm telling you, and that you niggas are wrong. Like I said, I work in a country now far away from the United States. Far away. Eight time zones away from uh, one of the U.S. time zones. Ahead. And I'm going to tell you this. In other words, it's Saturday morning here when it's still Friday night over there. And I'm, I'm explaining this to you. I work with people from different nations. They're, they're Americans. They're Canadians. Uh, they're South Africans. They're Pakistanis. Um... When these guys take vacations and they, and, and they go to Southeast Asia a lot of times with their families, because believe it or not, not every tourist in Thailand is a sex tourist. But when they go to uh, uh, Thailand on vacation with their families, they have come back and they have said that these white dudes who go to Thailand by themselves are sick. And, I, and the first time I heard this, I said, why? The ones telling me this are not Americans, they're not black, and they're not white. That's all you need to know. So they don't have a racial interest in telling me this. And they were saying to me and to other colleagues, these white 
Americans, these Western white folks, the Western Europeans, the white Americans, the Canadians, the Australians, they fly into places like Thailand and Cambodia and the Philippines and they're sick as hell. Why? Because they like to dig out little kids. And they really don't do stuff like this except, they don't try to do stuff like this except maybe in Thailand. That's it. They're not going even to the rest of Southeast Asia for this that much. They were trying it in Cambodia. They started getting arrested for it and sent back to their home countries. That's real. Yeah, people didn't know this. Yeah, that happened. Cambodia started getting caught. And when these cops started grabbing them up and nabbing them for this type of thing, they realized it wasn't black Westerners they had to grab up and nab up. And that's one of the reasons that Thai and Filipino women actually do prefer black men more than white men. They get these white dudes now, they are increasingly trying to take their money and run. They're not doing this with black men. What's the reason? Obviously they must like us better than they like white men. You don't even get that in Africa, bro. Now I'm a Pan-Africanist, 200% black to the bone. I mean, my, my stage, my screen name is Black Heart. What does that tell you? But you do not go to Africa and find that black women prefer you over the white man as a whole. You're now beginning to see that in the Philippines and in Thailand, these women are preferring black men as a whole. I can stand here, never go to either one of these countries, and I can see it from where I am. When I go and I order food in different places and I come across Filipino employees, their English is good, so we oftentimes deal with each other when I'm placing the orders. They're happy when I speak and they realize that I'm black. Oh my goodness, they're happy. They're, there's a the type of relief that comes over them. When you go into the Philippines, man, when you gonna come and check out my place, that's what they're like. That's what it's like th dealing with even just the dudes from the Philippines on a buddy to buddy basis. There's a preference. They feel more comfortable with us than they do with Massa. Now, if they feel more comfortable with us than they do with Massa, then obviously you don't have to go over there just to trick on some little children. It's not necessary. You can get the grown up over there. And the men ain't going to beat you up because you ain't mistreating they women. They're not even jealous about it. You're like, you know what? She's happy. You treating her well and she's treating you well. I can't even trip. Now, that's not what happens with certain other nationalities. But you sitting up here going to start an accusation that brothers with passports are going to these countries to dig out little girls. Like I said in my last video, man. Low cast, super sly, and the rest of you matriarchal ma'am dingoes. Shout out to Dwight Hayes for coining that term, mammy dingoes. You ma'am dingoes are sitting up here leveling this charge of pedophilia for one reason. You don't have any facts or stats to state something like that, but we know that black men in general are disgusted by these things, and so are, so are the people in these third world nations to which oftentimes brothers go. So if we agree when they agree that pedophilia is just nasty as hell, and it's, it's so instinctively understood that it doesn't even have to be discussed, then why the hell would we go over there and risk putting ourselves in third world jails for this? Nigga, we wouldn't, that's the whole point. Just because there's bound to exist a black man that's a pedophile and is willing to go and travel does not mean that you can sit up here and level the charge at the group, at the all passport brothers. But what's going on? See, what's going on is that you know damn well that the matriarchy, the stereotypical sapphire, is pissed off because she doesn't want to uh, uh, discipline her pussy. She doesn't want to control her vagina. She doesn't want to limit her reproduction to uh, men that would actually look after the kids. Because those men are boring to her. Why? That's a carryover from that slavery crap. And because you somehow feel validated by the matriarch, you're willing to sit up here and defend them when they're wrong. So you get up here and you say, uh-huh, y'all is some pedophiles. Because somebody put one of you up to it and the rest of you jumped on it. You niggas are stupid as hell. And I say that for this reason. The women only have one reason that they would want this charge leveled against black men with passports. Only one reason. That reason is at the end of the day, they know that in these parts of the world, pedophiles could be killed. That's it. 
So they wanted the stereotype of the black pedophile to spread so that when the black xenophile lands looking for an adult, people are more apt to kill him. Because these matriarchs are so upset that brothers got hip to the bad deal and decided to step out that they would rather see these men die than to leave and have other options better than taking care of other men's kids in exchange for some paltry pussy. That's the real truth of the matter. And you niggas are sitting up here helping them. What they want is a captive market. That's why black women love seeing black men in prison so much. A lot of them become corrections officers for that reason. It is a way to earn a living, but one of the things that they like about their job is that they get to sit up here and watch black men in chains, captive, and can't get none, unless she decides to go ahead and risk her job to give him some. They're merely trying to acquire as much power for their pussy as they can possibly get through some sick means. So consequently, they're sitting up here and they're saying this ignorant stuff. Well, these men are pedophiles and they're going over there to dig out these little kids, these, these little girls underage. Uh, no, no. They're saying that because they want the people there to start killing us when we land. So if I decide to go to the Philippines and go to the southern part where the Muslims are to look for a Muslim wife. They're hoping that I get killed for pedophilia even if I go there and I say I would like somebody the same age as me. There's some women here that can't have kids or they got divorced or something. Bring me them. Even if I were to say that, they want me dead because I didn't go back to the U.S. to pick up the ratchet bitch with other men's kids whose type I'm not even to begin with, to whom I'm not even that attractive, or she can never admit that I was attractive. But she still wants me to pick up the tab and pay the pussy price for the guy she does want to screw to hit it for free. Well, you, I, since she wants X, Y, and Z over here, but he doesn't have the money to pay the punani price, she figures, okay, I'll screw you and I'll get him to pay the price. I'll get him to pay for it. And you niggas don't understand. Some of you like to say, well, you know, it's not free over there either. It's not free. True. But what you fail to realize is that by you sitting up here saying that it's not free, you're admitting that, you know, the draws ain't free. So when you turn around and start bragging about all the Western black bitches you screw for free, you're admitting that someone else has to pay for it. You're upset because you don't want these same men who've been paying for you to screw to turn around and start saying, well, you know, it's not really that good of a deal for me, so I'm going to go over here, and whatever I do pay, I'm going to pay for me to screw, whether I'm paying a dowry to marry, or I'm paying for dates as a boyfriend, or if I'm just paying to play as, as a customer. Whatever the case is, I'm not paying for someone else, I'm paying for my own dingling to be satisfied. Short term, long term, whatever the case is. I recommend marriage as a Muslim, but the point, you, you understand what I'm getting at, and you're upset because you know doggone well that you ain't hitting that only because of your mouthpiece or your muscles. You also hitting that because of some other nigga's money. That's the thing you don't realize. You also hitting that because when her car breaks down at 2 a.m. in the morning, she doesn't call you to wake you up to go change a tire. She calls another guy who's been brainwashed. And now that brothers are waking up from the brainwashing, they're upset and you upset with them and you're going to help them. Maybe you should try joining us. Don't tell us to just be more alpha and just improve ourselves so that the dysfunctional Western bitch will like us. Don't tell us to do that. We should improve ourselves anyway because we're human. But what, we should, but what we should be saying to you, a lot of us weren't saying you should stop doing it. You should get the passport and leave. We weren't even saying that. But now I'm saying I'm saying that you if you've been ma validated by the matriarchy in black America, that means something's wrong with you. So go on ahead and get your passport and take your game and everything else over to these other nations, because then you will see actually how much better of a deal you get as well. And you'd understand. I mean, hey, look, if you really uh, macking and, and, and if you're really so much more valid than we are just because of your game and your mouthpiece and your alphaness, then the same thing would translate over there as well, right? I mean, shouldn't that go across the language barriers? So go ahead. I mean, you'd be doing better than us in any market, right? Right? Why don't you get the passport and prove us wrong? Instead of sitting up here talking about some, you're a pedophile because you got a passport to go elsewhere. No, dumb nigga. 
Go ahead. As a matter of fact, if you really want to shut me up, take your passport. Get a job as an English teacher in the conservative Arabian Gulf countries. And then mack on the women there and don't mack on the other foreign women that are working there. No, no, no. Come here to the peninsula and mack on the local women that are citizens of one of the GCC nations. Go ahead. If now if you do that, I really fuck the shuck up. If you guys come here and you you know you just super alpha over there in the states, you get your passports, come over here, and you do all of this, I'll fuck the shuck up. I'll be like, oh okay, okay. They just they really just know something about women that the rest of us don't know. All right, okay. Then you can teach me something. Go over there and start macking on the Bahraini women, the Qatari women, Saudi women. Get them to not only uh, and and. Get them to not only marry you, but get them to fornicate with you and marry you. All of it. The whole thing. Or get them to just have flings with you. I want to see the results work across the board for all three. And I'll fuck the shuck up. Go ahead. If you can. You understand that in every environment, merely having muscles and a mouthpiece ain't going to cut it. You understand that. We all do. But if I'm wrong, you'll prove me wrong, because you can. But in the meantime, stop leveling charges of pedophilia just because a brother got a passport and he's tired of the American or he's tired of the Western women. Quit that. Cut it out. Because you're blaming people for something that they didn't do. At the end of the day, you're going to be blaming a lot of innocent people for something they didn't do and you're risking their lives for something that they did not do. And the only person that benefits from it is going to be the matriarchy and the matriarchal mam dingoes that the matriarch is willing to give the pussy to and not present them with the bill for it. That's really it. Now, if you want to talk about riding the waves of other men and uh, enjoying the reputation for extra masculinity because of, you know, the real niggas. Uh, then, well, let's understand this. You've been getting in them sugar walls because of the money and the responsibility and the niceness of other men that you would say are not real niggas. That's really what's going on. So, um, go ahead. If what you say is true about your alphaness and your ability to just get any woman is true, you and others like you send others if you can't make it send somebody else over here and since your validation as men is tied to women's validation of you let's see if these conservative women here are going to validate you let's see how it works i hope that this has been a benefit black heart sign and blackout salam alaikum